There is a plan to take over this world, and I'm sorry to tell you tonight that you are living in one of the test case countries. They are practicing on Australia and New Zealand. And it may interest you to know tonight that New Zealand actually is a state of Australia on the Australian Constitution. Did you know that? Where are the New Zealanders tonight, please? Okay, now this Tesla-style technology was adopted by the oil industry and military together. It heats the atmosphere and manipulates the weather. High wattage waves are transmitted and relayed from a receiver. There's a similar station set up in Christchurch called Cedar. Coupling energetics and dynamics of atmospheric regions. It's an atmospheric radar station out of Birdling's flat, but once the red pill is taken, it's hard to turn things back. Okay, let's wind it back to the 21st, the day before the quake. Stewart Island, a hundred whales beached ashore deflate. In Christchurch, the USNZ forum commenced with guests from the US Congress, FEMA war and defense. The Singapore army were in town too, there to collect supplies. And the New Zealand Navy was in Port Littleton for an exercise. 600 doctors were also in town attending a training meeting. And people witnessed all week chemtrails from planes repeating. People saw rainbow colored clouds and rainy aura. The next day a rainbow with that rain and the full moon had an aura. I've got a floor plan here that shows incidences And it appears to be more than just coincidence The evidence appears to be covert influence A sequence of events that are more than just coincidence So many incidents Somewhere there's blueprints that show this instance Was more than just coincidence The evidence appears to be covert influence A sequence that are clearly more than just coincidences Now let's roll back the clock again To August last year Where the program began in the South Pole To explore the atmosphere The Canterbury Coast is being mapped for the oil drillers and Adarko, the company from the Gulf Oil Spillage. Hmm, I suspect that blatant lies are happening, especially if there's a link between quakes and seismic mapping. This imaging process is also disturbing to whales and maybe reflects your physical has a few murdering tales. The day before the September quake, the ship was dry docked in haste. A little tin for a repaint, broken shaft, and a ripe prop replaced. Okay, so now let's jump forward to Feb, the morning of the deadly quake. The main Christchurch radio transmitter had a sketchy break. That day, all stations were broadcast from the television relay. Pre planned decision with precision, a commission betrayal. Two suited strangers assured in the plant shop of a future demand in whiteware. After the afternoon's alarming nightmare, and the USNZ forum was supposed to finish at 6 sharp. But nine US officials left the morning minutes quick smart. Eight boarded a flight to Wellington, and one stayed behind his hired hand. He's a geologist, paramedic, and retired fireman. He's also the deputy admin for FEMA. To Manning, a late addition to the meeting, coincidence or grim planning, he ended up directing the emergency responsive teams, and Admiral Thad Alan was there too with corresponding themes, he directed the response for Rita Katrina and the BP oil spill, he's obviously bad at his job, cause all three were deplorable. So then the earth shakes and that we can easily see But do we know about the black boxes placed around the CBD? They were allegedly removed after the mayhem and turmoil And half the Americans left the meeting and the AM prefer oil Republican Dan Lundgren says we have to start drilling for oil off the coast of California Take the restraints off of offshore oil drilling, allow more leases, we can do it safely 11 workers are still missing and feared dead The gusher in the Gulf continues to pour out We can do it without uh, environmental degradation The spill now covering 400 miles of shoreline Once it's in these fragile wetlands, the oil is almost impossible to clean up Look, drill here in America, not only in California, but off, off Florida, uh, in the Gulf, uh, off Atlantic how much more will Lundgren do for big oil? Lundgren has voted for $2.6 billion in tax breaks for oil and gas companies to expand offshore drilling. And even as big oil's profits continue to soar, Lundgren voted to give them government handouts. It's easy to see where Lundgren's loyalties lie. Drill here in the United States. American resources. Drill now. Not 20 years from now. Not 30 years from now. Now. Drill here. Drill here. Drill here. And Lundgren's greed seems to have no end. When you get more, I take more. As do shareholders and those who hold positions of power at the Clear Channel, they control the transmission towers. It's normal for the ionosphere to electrify before a quake. But was the radio tower used to amplify the force of the shake? And was the Cedar MF radar also involved? Is there motive? We certainly have a puzzle to solve. You can't muzzle the souls of all the brave deceased. And now the names are released to every neighbor and street. I've started shaving the beast with Occam's razor at least. If this behavior repeats, well, you should save your receipts. Cause in the people's courtroom, he will be forced.
forced to repay us from a secret fortune He was endorsed to betray us This orchestration happened under his nose and vent And he's forced the nation into lunging throes of death He's just a puppet performing for the IMF We'll be their slaves if we even have an island left They exist to break borders and steal everything of value Sell you a string of lies and baptise you in a deluge of rules You must comply with in a forceful way Key will make a key speech with no remorse he'll say We're in so much debt and we don't have a recourse We need to offset it and sell off every source of resource He'll smile as he auctions our ass down the river And all the while he's watching his cash cow deliver If I get threatened and die, will you know that it's true? And what reaction you take? Well it's over to you Just know that if you don't stand up when you know that you should That evil will always prevail over good I've got a floor plan here that shows incidences And it appears to be more than just coincidence The evidence appears to be covert influence A sequence of events that are more than just coincidence So many incidents, somewhere there's blueprints That show this instance was more than just coincidence The sequence would take accuracy and skill to be done The odds against this happening by chance are a trillion to one New Zealand's so-called exclusive economic zone is six million square kilometres. Now there's a claim a quarter of that is capable of producing oil and gas, and that's got experts describing our waters as the North Sea of the Southern Hemisphere. John Newton explains. Some want greater protection of our coastal waters, but oil and gas industry leaders say deep underneath lies the world's next big oil and gas bonanza. We've got a resource out there that's about the size of the North Sea. Chris Yuriski has been studying our surrounding waters for the past decade. He says there's 1.7 million square kilometres of potential oil. That's seven times the size of New Zealand. And Darko expects to find the equivalent of 700 million barrels of oil. It says it's drilled 150 deep sea wells and has a clean track record. And today, Andarko announced here at the convention that they'll begin deep sea drilling either in the Canterbury Basin or offshore Taranaki within the year. 